Welcome to Collecting Chaos and the Eternal My Light Project. I already filmed a, a bunch of my video for tomorrow. I don't know why. I got mixed up. I thought it was Wednesday and I I make the Eternal My Light Project on Tuesday and instead of doing the Eternal My Light Project I spent most of the day working on Thursday's project because I thought it was Wednesday. I'm confused. But this is the Eternal My Life Project, so let's get started. And we're going to start off with a, a comic that I thoroughly enjoyed when it was being published and uh, Maybe a little bit of focus. Yeah, I guess that's good enough. Um, from Capital Comics, Nexus number one. Not in the best shape. It's got some problems up here. But that's okay. I don't mind. It's got a lot of things and dents. But it's a dark comic, so of course it's like that. But I don't mind because... <laughs> Yeah, I have another copy that's in much better condition. <laughs> uh, yes, this one will, one of the lower condition one will probably go up for sale at some point. I don't know when. And then I've got Nexus number two. And if you've never read Nexus, I highly recommend it. And number three, Mike Barron and Steve Rude. Good combination. They did a really good book. Next, we'll go to Marvel Comics. Knight Rider, number two. The weirdest Western hero of all. Actually, this is a reprint, I think. I might be wrong. Yeah, it's a reprint. It was originally printed in Ghost Rider number two. But of course, this was published in 1974 after they had moved Ghost Rider to a motorcycle. So they didn't want to cause confusion and they called him Knight Rider. And I think they changed his name again later on. Um, yeah. I don't smell any acid smell, but the pages are, are a tan, all tandy, a, a yellowish tan color. So not the best in the world, but not bad. It does have a a water stain here. Uh, this needs to end a water stain here. This needs to be cleaned desperately. So might be working on that at some point in the future. Next up from Gold Key, I have the Occult Files of Dr. Spector. Uh, this is from 1974, February 1974. I can tell that because of this, and I, I uh, told people how to do that. Uh, I, I, you know, I went over how to do that. Uh, the four means February. The two means, or the four means either 54, 64, 74, something like that. Uh, and the two means February. So if we look in here, February 1974. This is number six. And I have another one, and this one was from August of 1975, and uh, this is number 15, I think. Yeah, number 15, August 1975. Good stuff. Uh, Jesse Santos does the art. Not a well-known artist, but he was really good, and he does some good work, and I liked it. I liked his stuff. Who did the artwork in this one? doesn't say but I think this might have been Santos also it looks like his work I mean there's ways to find out there's sites you can go to online that'll tell you all that information now I have a copy of OMAC number one that desperately needs a cleaning well I have a copy or two or three four uh, plus I just sold one 
But all of these need a cleaning really bad and a press. And uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but if you look at the back of this, there's a lot of dirt along the, the spine. And uh, it's, the page should be white and they're yellowed. So yeah, and this one has water stain. This one ha will have to be disassembled to be cleaned. Because that's all there is to it. So yeah, a couple of copies of OMAC number one. There's OMAC number three. Don't have number two. I don't know why. Um, it's Jack Kirby. Great stuff. Edited, written, drawn by Jack Kirby. I mean, basically, DC said, here, Jack, do whatever you want. And he did. This is number five. Number six. And number seven. Or no, number eight. So uh, I've got a few to pick up to get the complete set. And, and I will get them eventually. Uh, I think New Gods is the next one I'm going to work on from the Kirby run. And I have Omega Men number one. And this one is in pretty nice shape. It's pretty clean. I don't see any spine ticks. Yeah, this is a real nice copy. But then so is this one. <laughs> and I know people are going nuts. How, can, how come you have two copies of number one? Why not? Uh, here's a copy of number two. I have three, four, five, six, seven. I just, I don't know where they are. But uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. Keith Giffen stuff. Always good to see his work. Omega Men Annual Number One, and of course Omega Men is where uh, Lobo first appeared. I think Omega Men Three or Four, something like that. Uh, I already know that somebody, somebody, is going to tell me exactly which one it is in the uh, comments below. Here's Omega the Unknown from Marvel Comics. This is a really rough copy. Needs a clean, desperately. Needs a press. Um, I would consider this good right now. A, a really good clean and press. Might take it up to good plus. It's doubtful. Because it, the comic itself has a lot of wear on it. Uh, here's Omega number 7. Uh... And number eight, but we'll show number seven first. This one is in a little bit better shape. Still could use a clean and a press. Um, might make it up to fine. Here's number eight. This one's in pretty nice shape. Uh, I would put it in fine right now. Give it a good clean and a press and take out, see if we could take out some of the spine ticks. Obviously, you can take out this little crease here, or here. But if I can get the creases down to just two or three, uh, then we're looking at, you know, a, a fine, a very fine copy. And last up for today, going to be a short one, Omega Man number 10. Or not Omega Man, uh, Omega the Unknown number 10. Uh, this has one very small spine crease. One, two, three. Three spine creases and one tick. That, two ticks. Okay, four spine, very small spine creases and, four, and two ticks that I think I can remove. Uh, not a bad looking comic. Of course, it'll get a clean. And a press eventually. So yeah. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, 
Maybe you saw some things you hadn't seen before. Maybe you believe me now when I say I have a lot of OMAC uh, number ones. <laughs> and uh, that doesn't count the one that's actually in my collection. So at one time, I, had, I, I think I had 10 at one time. I don't know why. I, just like It seemed like every collection I bought had an OMAC number one in it and a bunch of X-Men. So um, anyway, that's going to be it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little quick uh, Eternal My Life project. And uh, make sure before you handle your comics, your toys, your collectibles, whatever you happen to be into, make sure you wash your hands. It's good for your comics. Most of all, it's good for your health. And having said that, I will see you next video. Bye.